one ounce does not equal one troy ounce. As a stacker and buyer of precious metals, it's important to understand that there is a distinct difference between regular ounces and troy ounces. This video will discuss each unit of measure, their differences, the type of scales we should be using to measure our precious metals, and hopefully clear up any confusion you may have about each. If this sounds interesting to you, then stick around and check it out. Because an ounce and a troy ounce are not equal, you need to be aware of what unit of measure was used to weigh the precious metals you're buying. Most precious metals products are referred to in ounces, but they are actually sold in troy ounces. I think that this is particularly what gets people confused. It is the industry standard to measure all precious metals in troy ounces, so the industry just assumes everyone knows that. Today, more than ever, there are new physical buyers of precious metals that are unaware of the differences between these two units of measure. Let's take a brief look at them. First, we need to understand the symbols and correlations between a troy ounce and the other units of measure, specifically the gram, grains, and avoirdupois ounce. The avoirdupois ounce, commonly known as just the regular ounce, is the standard unit of measure for most items. One ounce equals 28.3 grams. It equals 437.5 grains. And it is 0.9114 of a troy ounce. Thousands of years ago, precious metals were weighed using the same system as everyday items. However, this complicated the Roman monetary system, so Rome decided to establish a new weighing system exclusively for gold, silver, platinum, and gunpowder, and they called it the troy ounce. One troy ounce equals 31.1 grams, or 480 grains and is 1.097 of an avoirdupois ounce. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison to get a better feel for the differences between the ounce and the troy ounce. A regular ounce is equivalent to 28.349 grams as a troy ounce is a little heavier with a gram equivalent of 31.1. The difference is 2.751 grams. A regular ounce is the equivalent of 437.5 grains. A troy ounce is a little heavier with a grain equivalent of 480. A difference of 42.5 grains. These differences may not amount to much in small quantities, but can add up in larger quantities. As stated earlier, the troy ounce continues to be used today as the standard unit of measure in the precious metals markets to ensure purity standards and other common measures remain constant over time. So how do you ensure you're getting a product that is properly weighed and accurately represented? In most cases, this is already done for us as most precious metals pieces already have the content weight and purity information permanently annotated on the piece somewhere, such as these coins, rounds, bars, and jewelry pieces. If these products are sold from a reputable dealer, then there's little doubt of their authenticity. But there are older and more obscure mints that have produced products that may not have had these markings. And of course, we have the custom poured market out there that includes many backyard and garage precious metals pours. 
misrepresentations, and just honest mistakes can happen. This is why you, as a buyer, need to always check the accuracy and authenticity of any piece you buy regardless of where it is bought from. This can easily be done by using a good quality scale. A good quality scale doesn't necessarily mean an expensive one. There are many good quality scales out there for less than $20. The key is making sure that the scale you choose can read the units of measure you need them to read. I would highly recommend that you find a scale that measures in units of troy ounces as this is the industry standard for measuring precious metals. However, if your scale reads ounces, grains, or grams and you know the correlation between these units of measure and the troy ounce, you can determine or verify the actual weight of any precious metal piece. Here are some examples of low cost but quality scales that can be very portable and used to measure small quantities of precious metals. When I look for a scale, I first look for those made of rust resistant materials. I look for durability as they are a delicate instrument and can get knocked around from time to time. If you ever drop a scale or it takes a particularly hard knock, I would suggest that you check its calibration by weighing the same item also on a known calibrated scale and compare the two readings. It should be noted that scales will fall out of calibration after a period of time. Inexpensive scales aren't really worth recalibrating and are easily just replaced. I have had scales for more than 10 years and if they're properly cared for they may even last for another 10. I also like a scale that has a backlit display as my eyesight is getting worse and it helps me to see the numbers more clearly. It's also important that you know how to properly set up and use the scale as well. Make sure that it's placed on a firm, flat surface. Make sure you tear out the scale to begin with a display of zero. This becomes especially important if you're weighing something in a tray or in some kind of container that itself obviously has weight and you wouldn't want to include that tray or container weight with your metal so you can tear out or zero the scale before weighing your metal. Digital scale maintenance and care. Avoid exposure to extreme heat or cold. Bring it in the house, don't leave it out on the bench if it's located in your garage and you know things get real hot or cold out there. Also, avoid any kind of moisture. Always allow your scale to acclimate to normal room temperature before use. Try not to drop items on the scale platform. Instead, gently place them on the platform to be weighed. This will maintain your calibration longer and prevent mechanical parts from breaking or excessive wear. To sum up here, it's important to understand the difference between regular ounces and troy ounces and their relationship to grams and grains when dealing with measuring instruments such as scales and buying precious metals. Make sure your scale measures in units of troy ounces or know exactly how many grains or grams of weight equals one troy ounce. If you're not sure that you could remember, then just make a cheat sheet and keep it handy with your digital scale. Did you find this topic informative? Do you feel that you have a little better understanding of how to properly weigh precious metals? Let me know in the comment section below. A big thank you to all who support this channel and especially to those who take the time to watch the entire video, comment, share, like, and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. If you enjoy this type of content and you're not yet a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then be sure to select the notification bell to be notified as soon as I post up new content. If you like learning about precious metals, the economy, and news events that affect our financial world, then stop by the ST66 Discord. 
It's totally free and active 24-7. There are numerous topic rooms where you can find exactly what you're interested in. You can watch videos, monitor conversations, or even chime in and be a part of those conversations yourself. The link is in the show more section below. If you enjoy free giveaways, trivia contests, and silver bullion auctions, then stop by the ST66 live chat auction every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time. I'll look forward to seeing you there.